This son, the funk is back. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday, hey, August third. It's August, people. It's August. I, July was like a blur. Um, okay, everyone knows I'm a huge Yankee fan, and I know I have a lot of Red Sox fan friends out there. And um, I'm telling you right now, the game last night was uh, we got our asses kicked. There's no uh, the Yankees got destroyed. The bullpen completely sucked. But I will tell you this right now. I don't know if it annoys anybody but me. But I cannot stand the fucking goddamn strike zone box. That thing, turn it off. Or if they want to get calls right, what they should do, MLB, if you're listening, I want this to happen because this would make baseball so much more enjoyable and people can follow it better. If you have this stupid box on the TV and they show the ball going out of the zone in the box for a strikeout and they're still calling them wrong, you have to have someone... Have a earpiece in the in the home plate umpire's headset. Someone upstairs in the booth is calling the strikes, and then they relay it down to them. Because he's looking at it on TV in the box, and the way it's going in the box, that's how it should be called. That's how it should be called. That's how umpire should be. Because if you have the box on the TV, you know the umpire doesn't see the box as how he sees the box, as everyone else sees the box. So you should go by the view of the of the viewer. I'll tell you right now, if they did that, baseball uh, viewing ratings would go up. I'll tell you right now. Because then people understand what the strike zone really looks like. Because we're, the way we see it on TV is the way everyone perceives it already. So just have someone call the strikes and just relay it to the umpire down there. And guess what? When the ball is the ball... People won't get upset because they'll see that it's out of the box instead of the, it's out of the, they're showing us it out of the box and it's getting called a strike. Drives me nuts. I can't stand it. The Yankees, CC got squeezed so bad last night it was ridiculous. I'm telling you right now, I rarely like the Red Sox are good. They're gonna win. The, if they the Yankees come back and beat them, it's gonna be a miracle. Their team's good. I'm not taking anything away from their team. So fans, what I'm gonna say right now is just my honest God's the truth because every time the Yankees. Have anyone on the mound who's somewhat decent of a pitcher at that stadium? We get squeezed so much; it's ridiculous how much the, the, the umpires, when the Yankees, any other team, every team, not just the Yankees. I've seen it with every team watching a Red Sox game when they're at home. They get every fucking strike zone call. It's an out of the strike zone call. I mean, it's it's nuts. It seems like because the Yankees don't get they get they get away with some shit here and there, but every, but it seems like the Red Sox get away with more. Than I've ever seen, but like I said, I don't know. I would like to see the statistics, the stats on that because I'm pretty sure they would be up there. But um, the game they sucked. The Yankees couldn't score any runs, and when they did, they they blew opportunities, stupid bonehead plays, and, they, and the bullpen sucked. They couldn't get anybody out. It was like the worst bullpen night we've had. So, like I said, put this game behind us. We got. Uh, I think Severino against Porcello tonight. We do good against Porcello. We'll see. As long as Severino can get out of his funk. He hasn't been pitching that great. He's been up and down lately. Mostly down. So hopefully he can have a good start uh, at Fenway and give the Yankees. The Yankees can take at least two out of these four games. I'll be happy. But um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because it's not this being um, Wrestling has been somewhat eh, build up to SummerSlam. It hasn't been anything great. I'm not really going to go deep with wrestling today because I think, honestly, it's kind of been weak. Don't, Roman Reigns is get another title, title opportunity at SummerSlam against Brock Lesnar. How many times did I see this match? I'm done. Dude, I don't care. Throw anybody else in the match. Throw Bobby Lashley in the match. Throw Ron Strowman in the match. Make it a fatal four-way. Make it a battle royal. I do not want to see Roman Reigns get another title opportunity. Yet, I don't want to see Brock hold another title anymore. So, that match to me, don't care who wins. Because either way, it's still going to suck. Because even if Roman does win, he's a champion, and I'm sick of him already. And if Brock holds on to it, I don't fucking like him to begin with because he's he's not even on TV. He's, he's not even a wrestler to me. L literally, dude, Cena, to me, shows up, okay? Brock does not. He just comes for the paycheck, dude. He has no interest in being there. And you can see it. It's like That's not an act. It's real. I don't care what anybody says. He's not acting. That's how he is. So he'd rather be in UFC. Go let him get the shit kicked out of him UFC. Cut his ties. Cut his contract. I'm done with him. I don't want to see him anymore. He's a disgrace. 
I'm sick of Brock Lesnar. Uh, he's not even trying. Like he, the whole payment thing. Like, uh, uh, dude, it's 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 comical to me because it's not. It's like I don't know. I just think how it's how he really is. Like I don't know. He's. I, don't know, I just think they're killing him, and they just, they just gotta get him out. Like Roman Reigns, if Roman Reigns doesn't win, I'll be surprised. But you know, uh, I don't know what Vince is doing. And then <clears throat> SmackDown, I think SmackDown's a better show. It's just it's more entertaining. I, I, I like they have good matchups. The rivalries are good. You got the Miz and Daniel Bryan, which everyone's been waiting for, which is a good time to do it before SummerSlam, which I like. You can drag that out for over a couple pay per views. Um, uh, they have such good chemistry, Dan Bryan and the Miz. So I think that's going good. AJ gets some Ojo's match. Everybody wants to see. I can't wait to see that match. That's a match I've been dying to see. Um, Randy Orton and the whole Jeff Hardy thing kind of, eh, it's entertaining to say at least, but I'm kind of on the fence with it. Like I've really, they've kind of wrestled each other so many times that it's like kind of like, you know, it's one like one more. Like how many times are you going to have a rivalry? You know, granted they were separated for a long time when the Hardys left, but so they seem, I don't know. I just think they're kind of, their match has been played out, Randy against Jeff, but they're still, they still put on pretty good matches. I'm not saying, they, I'm, I'm just kind of sick of them in general fighting. Like, I don't know. Um, with Shinsuke in the mix, I, I, maybe it'll be a triple threat match. I think that's what's going to happen. A triple threat match for the U.S. title at SummerSlam. Nakamura, Randy, Jeff Hardy. That would be great. Um, tag team division, Bludgeon Brothers has been killing it. Uh, they're dominating, so I don't know who they're going to have. It's going to be the New Day or um, Sheamus and Cesaro uh, going against them at SummerSlam for the tag belt. So i like to see Sheamus and Cesaro win again. I'm kind of getting bored with the New Day already. Um, they're still entertaining. I Don't get me wrong. I like them. They're funny. And they're still somewhat entertaining, but I'm just sick of their whole... like they've been, they've been together so long now that it's kind of like... They like they should have left a little bit sooner. Like I don't know. I think they should have broke each other up a little bit sooner, and or just like kept two of them together and let the other guy go his own separate way. Like mix it up. Like I don't know. I just I still love them. They're still entertaining. They're funny. The whole pancake thing's kind of getting a little lame, but uh, otherwise, uh, wrestling like SmackDown's been better to, for me. Like Raw has been really. They're burying Finn Balor. Like I just I want Finn Balor to go SmackDown. Like if they could trade Finn Balor to, uh, tomorrow to SmackDown for anybody. I wouldn't care who. Unless unless you you're getting rid of like. I would do Finn Balor for Randy Orton. I'd rather see Randy Orton on Raw, honestly. But that's just me. Um, people like that. They say he's on SmackDown. But I don't like him on SmackDown. Like I said, you can swap those two. Put Finn on freaking SmackDown and put Randy back to Raw. I would do that trade in a heartbeat. But it's not going to happen. I got some emails here. I'm going to take right now. I feel like talking about my more wrestling. Um, my friend Ian. What's up, Class 94 alum? Ian Jacobs. What's up, brother? You get my message below, Jerry. Odd you didn't reply. I know you like questions for your podcast, so here it goes. I didn't see anything, dude. I don't know what happened. I th I think I might have uh, switched up. I don't know. I might have I might have switched um when I switched the email when I was going through the email. I might have deleted the one account because I I'm, I just got the new Yahoo mess uh, email set up, so I might have fucked something up. So I might not have seen it. My bad. Ever play an instrument? Yes, in high school, my mom actually made me try to play an instrument. And all the cool stuff was taken, so I uh, well, let's go in this, and like, cello. I don't know why I took the cello. Um, for, I was interested for maybe about a, two weeks, and then after that I was like, all right, I don't want to do this. I don't want to play this instrument anymore. It was definitely, you know, I don't know. I just wasn't very musically, I like to sing more than anything. I don't, I'm not a instrument player. Like, I could never play anything. Um, you know, I've tried to play guitar before. I can strum a little bit, but nothing like I can't, I could never play a song, like, unless I really learned, you know, like I said, I never was that musically gifted, like a lot of people I know. Um, do you remember in high school when Matt Mancus ripped off my shirt and grabbed my breast? That was one of the lowest points of my life. If you're out there, fuck you, Matt. Um, I, vaguely, it's, it was long, it was so long ago, I kind of remember something like that. I, I didn't think it was with Matt, though, I thought it was somebody else. But I don't know, like I said, that was fucking 20 some odd years ago, dude. I'm like, I don't like what the fuck I remember what I did yesterday. Um, ever eat the Golden Corral? Um, did I ever eat the Golden Corral? I don't think I've ever eaten the Golden Corral before. It's really good for a chain restaurant. What do you like to eat there? I don't understand, I've never eaten there before. I've eaten like a lot of the other ones, but there's no really Golden Corrals around here. I don't think there's, I think there was one in Middletown, but they closed down or they moved. I don't know. I lose touch with so many people. Whatever happened to the old crew? Guys like Tom Romano, Mike Carlino, John Canizzaro. That was my crew back in the day. If they can only see me now. 
Um, Mike Carlino is a follower, dude. He's probably watching right now. Shout out to him. And Tom Romano. I don't know what Tom. I know Tom's doing something. I, I forgot. Someone told me what he was doing. He's doing good, though. Um, if you only see me now, John Canizero. I don't know if you know that Joe Canizero passed away, bro. I don't know if you know about that, but I'm pretty sure you knew um, that he passed away. I was very sad. Joe was a good dude. And granted, we weren't close. We were, you know, uh, one time we were enemies, but I always thought Joe was a cool kid. A good guy, you know. He always made me laugh. So, um, you know, that was really disappointing when I heard about him passing. Um, please name it. Please also read the email below. Disappointed, haven't heard back. I hate CNN and the Clinton so much. We love you here in Florida and in Camp Lejeune. Ian. Thanks, Ian. Shout out to everyone in Camp Lejeune. Thanks for following and watching. Spread the word. I'm trying to go, trying to go big. I'm trying to go big with this. So if you can tell people about my show, anybody, especially in the entertainment industry, please tell people about my show. Pass the word along. Um, I love doing this too. I just, you know, this is what I think I was born to do, but unfortunately it doesn't pay bills right now. So it's just a hobby. Um, I only can only do it once a week. Otherwise, if I could do this every day, trust me, I'd be doing this every day for cash. And because the job I have now sucks, and but I gotta do it because I gotta pay bills. Um, but anyways, uh, what was the other email? Oh, John, you sent emails. Johnny went out there. I know he always has one. Here we go. Got some random questions for you. All right, let me scroll up here. Hold on, let me switch over here for a second. I gotta remaneuver so I can read the screen. All right. Have you ever been on a cable car? No. I've seen them, but I've never been on one. Do you prefer honey or jam? Jam. Do you prefer French or Germans? I don't really have a preference for either, but I'd say French, maybe. How fast can you get changed? I don't know. If I really have to get fa changed fast, pretty quick. Maybe a few minutes, a couple minutes. Depending on where we're going and what i got to get dressed for. Do you bite your nails? No. Do you prefer male or female singers' voices? Certain songs, like love ballads, I'm kind of like more female, male for rappers and stuff. Like there's some good, there's great, uh, tons of great female rappers, but I don't know. There's just certain voices that are meant to sing certain things to me. But like I said, I'm, I like both. It, it depends on the on the kind of music. Would you rather be the world's greatest football player or lover? I don't know. Football player. How often do you masturbate? Not as much as I used to. Too old. Don't care after a certain amount of period of time. Do you believe in heaven? Yes. Do you like your age? Right now, I'm pretty content of being 42, but like I said, if I, if I could be like five, six years younger right now, I'd take it, but I don't, like I said, that's how I feel. I don't, I don't feel 42. I feel like I'm still in my like mid 30s, so I, I feel like I'm. I'm not, like, I'm still, I'm trying to take care of myself and do, I'm trying to do better, eat well and all that stuff and exercise and shit, and it's, you know, it's tough, but you try. What's your favorite physical thing you like about yourself? Tattoos. <laughs> I don't know. Um, my wife says she'll always love my shoulders, I don't know. Um, if you discovered a new species of dinosaur, what would you call it? Garvasaurus Rex. <laughs> do you own a bowling ball? Of course. What do you consider is the most important piece of furniture in, your, in, in a house? Mine's my recliner. What do you consider the most important appliance in your house? Refrigerator. I think, because you have to keep stuff freaking from going bad. Otherwise, you keep shit out that's supposed to be refrigerated. It's going to waste money. Um, if you could have any celebrity's hair, who would it be? I don't know. I'd say Mark Wahlberg. He has some pretty cool hair. What's your favorite breakfast cereal? Mm, I have a few. Frosted Flakes, though, I've been reading mostly lately. It's probably been my favorite now. Which would you rather have if you had to? A broken leg or a broken arm? Hmm. That's a tough one. I would have to go... Broken arm. Actually, no broken leg. Because at least if, if I might... Because if you can't... I can't type with broken hand, with a broken arm. So at least I can still communicate and do shit. But uh, I couldn't probably get around as much, which, which would suck. But whatever. Um... Uh, do you read a daily newspaper? Dude, I haven't read the newspaper in a long time. I just get news off the internet now, dude. I haven't bought a newspaper in about probably 10, 15 years. Um, probably 10 years. Do you watch the news on TV? Once in a while. Yeah, I'll flip it on. I don't like to, but if it starts getting depressing, I change it because I can't watch freaking sad, depressing shit. Dude, there's too much shit, bad shit going on that it just depresses me. I can't watch it. 
Like, I'll, if that's anything, a good story, like a happy story, yeah, I'll watch it just for that. But if it's like, it's, oh, these people just got murdered by fucking a guy, no, no, like, you know, I, I can't, I can't. It, it's just sad yeah, that shit goes on like that. Do you believe in love at first sight? Mm, yes and no. Do you believe in destiny, fate, or free will? Kind of. I'm on the fence. If you could talk to one species of animal, what would it be? Ooh. This is a good question. I like this question. Um, what species of animal would it be? I don't know, man. That That's like... There's so many cool animals, but there's so many bad animals that I would want on my side. Like, I would love a, a, a horde of... Like, if I could talk to King Cobras. Just to them. I'd be like, all right, see those people over there? Go murder them by biting them to death with their venom and kill them. That's that's gonna be my power. I'm like, yeah, I'm the master of snake man. I'm snake man. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be cool to talk to like probably like dogs. I would love to be able to talk to my dog. If I could talk to my dog, that'd be so great. It'd be so funny too. Um, if you had friends, friends around, what DVDs would you have to watch? If you had friends around, what? Um, DVDs. I still have. I still have DVDs, dude. I have mostly Blu-rays now, but um. I have some DVDs. Mostly, I have a lot of superhero DVDs. I have um, a lot of kid DVDs. My daughter's got a ton of stuff, but um, mostly Paw Patrol. Thought it would be fun to hear what you had to say. I arrive in New York on August sixteenth. Can I get an autograph then? I have my six dollars. You agreed to before I was in a coma, dude. I don't know if I can get out there, man. It's it. I have to work on Thursday, so I can't get out of work, man. Right now, so sorry. I'll figure out a way to get you one, though, man, somehow. Well, that's it, folks. That's all the emails I got for today. Mr. X, hopefully, will be joining us next time. He thought he was going to be able to call in, but... And hopefully, we're going to get his, um... His indie wrestler friend, Monster, on, uh, hopefully soon. Uh, see had a scheduling conflict for... It was supposed to be today, but... Hopefully next week, but I'm not... I'm crossing my fingers, I'm not cross. I'm not promise anything yet, but as the week the, the week goes on from next to next Friday, I'll hopefully have more info and I'll put it on my page. But folks, that's about it. It's going to be a weird weekend, a lot of rain. It's going to get humid and hot next week, so stay cool. Hopefully, I don't think the rain's going to cool anything off because we're going to get humid after this, so uh, get ready for the heat. The dog days of August are coming, folks, and it's starting early. And I have one more thing to say. Let's go, Yankees. I gotta go. I'll see you. I'll see you.